Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with me, Lisa. So this is KC 2023 most important topics discussion series. Okay, so this is part 8, I think. The remaining uh, part, I made a playlist on that. So I provide link of that playlist in the description box. Kindly check it out. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the most important topics that is enzyme and its cofactors. Okay, so usually uh, what are enzymes? Enzymes are nothing but proteins, right? So all uh, all enzymes are proteins all, uh, and all proteins are not enzymes. So this uh, one line is there. So usually, uh, you know, some enzymes require some additional components that is additional chemical components for it, for its activity and some enzymes uh, do not require any chemical molecules usually in the image structure itself amino acid residues are there that is more than enough but in some case some enzymes require some additional chemical structure or chemical molecule for its activity so that additional chemical uh, factor is called as a cofactors that is what called as enzyme and its cofactors so these cofactors are two types okay so one is the coenzyme and another one is a metal okay so usually this coenzyme is nothing but it is a organic molecule okay so coenzyme is nothing but it is a organic molecule this is organic molecule and here cofactor that is metal this is a inorganic molecule some metal are coming under inorganic molecules so this is the additional component of enzymes which is helps for its activity okay so now we discussed one by one that is what are uh, you know coenzymes are there so which enzyme require cofactor which enzyme you know require some metal as a cofactor one by one we discuss now okay so yeah so here the first cofactor is what that is thiamine pyrophosphate and enzyme is what that is pyruvate dehydrogenase so this pyruvate dehydrogenase is helps for the conversion of pyruvate to acetyl choline okay so uh, this enzyme which enzyme that is pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme as a cofactor that is thiamine pyrophosphate okay so next is some flavin adenine nucleotide okay so here the enzyme is what that is monoamine oxidase so this monoamine oxidase as a cofactor that is fal fad is there right that is okay so next is that is pyridoxal phosphate it is a cofactor and this pyridoxal phosphate is present in glycogen phosphorylase so which is uh, which helps for the phosphorylation in glycogen okay the, usually glycogen is a storage polysaccharides of animals right so next cofactor that is uh, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that is nad nad and also nadh is there at right? that one so which enzyme lactate dehydrogenase so this lactate dehydrogenase enzyme NAD as a cofactor, monoamine oxidase as a FAD as a cofactor, and this uh, lactate dehydrogenase, uh, lactate dehydrogenase as NAD as a coenzyme. Okay, then that is organic. That's it. Okay, so the next one is what that is CoA, that is coenzyme A, acetyl CoA is there, right? That one. So here the enzyme acetyl CoA carboxylase, which is involved in the carboxylation reaction. Okay, so acetyl coa carboxylase enzyme as coa that is coenzyme as its coenzyme that is cofactor that's it okay so next one that is biotin is a cofactor it's also vitamin okay so which enzyme has biotin as a cofactor or coenzyme that is pyruvate carboxylase so this pyruvate carboxylase enzyme contains biotin as a coenzyme okay so next is what that is methyl melanin mutase okay so the next one one second 5 deoxy adenosyl cobalamin so here this coenzyme is for methyl melanin mutase okay so this methyl melanin mutase enzyme as 5 deoxy adenosyl co uh, cobalamin as the coenzyme this is also on vitamin okay so next one that is 
So next one that is thymidylate synthase enzyme. So for this thymidylate synthase, tetrahydrofolate is a coenzyme, THF. Okay, so which is involved in the folic acid synthesis. So this thymid, uh, thymidylate synthase enzyme requires tetrahydrofolate as a coenzyme. So this is regarding coenzymes. So similar like that, some metals are act as a cofactor for some uh, some enzymes. Okay, so now discuss one by one. So here, carbonic anhydrase as a zinc as its cofactor. Okay, so next, carboxypeptidase is also having zinc as its cofactor. Okay, so next that is hexokinase. So hexokinose, hexokinase is involved in the glycolysis, the first step of glycolysis, conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate. Okay, so here while conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, so exokinase along with this enzyme activity, it requires magnesium as a cofactor. Okay, so next that is ECORV, which is a restriction endonuclease enzyme. So this restriction endonuclease enzyme also requires magnesium as a cofactor. Okay, so next that is it's xanthine oxidase. So this xanthine oxidase, ha, uh, you know, contain this molybdenum as a cofactor. So next one, that is nitrate reductase. This nitrate reductase enzyme contain nickel as its cofactor. So next one, that is urease, which is helps to remove the urea. So which is having selenium as its cofactor. So next one, that is uh, glutathione peroxidase, which is involved in the react, uh, reactive oxygen species, species. Okay. So this contains manganese as a cofactor. So not only glutathione peroxidase, arginase super oxide dismutase also contains manganese as a cofactor. Usually these two, which one glutathione peroxidase, arginase super oxide dismutase are involved in the reactive oxygen species. Okay. So both are containing, uh, you know, manganese as a cofactor. So next one, that is propionyl CoA carboxylase. So this propionyl CoA carboxylase has potassium as its cofactor. Okay, this potassium as its cofactor for propionyl CoA carboxylase. So now the last, you know, enzyme that is ascorbic acid oxidase. So this ascorbic acid oxidase as copper as its cofactor. Okay, so this is regarding enzymes and its cofactors. Just go through the chart that is more than enough. Anyhow, uh, like one one line questions they ask. You know, so it, at that situation, the, this type of uh, you know chart is helpful. So I think this video will help you. If, if you like this video, hit the like button and. Uh, share maximum to your friends thank you so much for watching so subscribe to my channel for more videos like this